Hi there guys, Sam here. Welcome to another video where I go through the cost of buying a new 718 Porsche Cayman 4 litre GTS. So yeah, I'll get straight into the video really. So yes, you join me once again for another video. And <laughs> if you're like me and you dream of a car such as this on your driveway, you'd also like to know how much it's actually going to cost you. I've done videos on the past of this car, sort of like configuring it and specking it up on the Porsche site if you want to check that out on the link above. But this video is kind of what you'd actually expect to pay based on, well, we're on the 27th of May 2020 here. So yeah, let's go through going through this and going through the cost to buy a Porsche Cayman 4 litre GTS. So yes, first of all, so you're on Google, you type in Porsche Cayman 718 4 litre GTS, quite specific, and you get a few results. You get the Porsche website, and you get, um, yeah, the new 718 Cayman GCS 4 litre, the mid-engine legends. So then it says, powered by sporty performance to the soundtrack of a 4 litre engine, 6-speed manual transmission, 6 pistons brake caliper, Porsche torque vectoring, 400 PS, flat 6 engine. So yeah, you're sold. You want to buy this car. Um, elsewhere on the list, you've got, yeah, another bit of the Porsche website, some YouTube videos, which I would actually recommend because it's they are pretty good for this car. And on the right, you get a bit of a spec list of the car, which is quite handy. RRP from £64,000, horsepower 294 kilowatts, which is 400 PS, 4 litre, 6 cylinder, max speed 182 miles an hour, curb weight 1480 kilos, etc. So that's great. So that straightaway takes you to the website. And as I mentioned in my previous video, I've kind of gone through a configuration of this car before. So check that out, as I mentioned previously. So you configure it, spec it up exactly how you like. My one's in yellow <laughs> and it comes to 64088 pounds and there you go that's all the equipment that you get so great stuff and then it doesn't really help you out so so if you're like me and money like that doesn't sort of grow on trees most people won't go into a dealership and just put down sixty four thousand pounds you know you'd love to be the cheapest way to kind of own the car in some ways but yeah people just don't so you're likely to finance the car now let's go through some options from porsche on that so you've got finance options for a 718 now sadly <laughs> There's no finance options specifically on their website or any sort of dealer website. I'm double checking on Porsche, Porsche Silverstone here for a four litre GTS. And in fact, there's nothing for the sort of like the GTS or the GT product, which is a bit of a shame. I thought the GTS, they might be able to sneak it in. So that's really not going to help you when you're trying to get a, at least a guideline of how much you're going to be paying for this car. Luckily, if you go further down, there is finance options for a KN. Now, a base KN is about £60,000. It's not a million miles off your four litre came in GTS so that could be quite a good comparison so let's check that out so yeah there you go that's what Porsche actually offer as, as a PCP sort of representative on the Porsche KN now I should say this is a 36 month term with 10,000 miles per annum now the chances are you're not going to be doing 10,000 miles in your Cayman if you are good on you you know to take that around Europe or wherever you want to go enjoy it to the maximum particularly when you can after lockdown but yeah so it might actually be better than that particularly if you mi your miles are less so there you go, 36 months, 35 monthly payments of £584. Because this car is slightly cheaper by about four grand, let's just call it about £600. Deposit, just under £13,000. And then obviously you've got the recommended on the road price. Doesn't really matter for the KN. Representative, 5.9% APR. That's generally about right on sort of like a brand new car. So let's call it 36 monthly payments of £600. So that comes to £21,600 that you'll be paying plus say the £13,000 for your actual initial deposit, and that'll cost you £34,600. Now the good thing is that's obviously not £34,600 you're going to lose straight away, because that's an awful lot of money to, to say goodbye to. You know, the car, as I've mentioned on my channel, I think it's a really, really good one to get into. It's going to be the last of naturally aspirated um, Caymans, really. Really looking forward to GT4 RS, as I've also said. But you know, the kind of attainable car, if you know my channel, you know I love Porsche. And I'm sure you guys tuning in do as well. I always think of it as like a touring. You know, like you've got the GT3 touring. Everyone sort of sorted after that. This is like a GT4 touring in my mind. It's, it's just absolutely brilliant. So residual should be fine. But you've got to say after 36 months, that car's not going to be worth £64,000, I don't think. I mean, you never know. I mean, 718 GT4s are actually going still around for about 90 grand. So a little bit, of, well, a fair bit above list, to be honest with you. Um, but let's say you're probably going to struggle to get 50 grand for that car. So you're going to lose about £16,000, plus the amount of interest that you're going to be paying over those 36 months. Means it's not exactly going to be happy reading, but even if you say lost, say, 20000 or you spent £20,000, £25,000 on this car, you've got an amazing car for 36 months. 
it's a brilliant car. I'm sort of saying this is kind of like worst case scenario as well. And it's kind of the last of, of a breed. So it's not actually too bad when you look at it like that. And then well, you can see from the images, you can have a car like that on your driveway. And you know, a lot of people do things in monthlies and I can really see why, because you spread it out over 36 months, you can have just such an amazing car on your driveway. I know there'll probably be some 911 fans here as well, but I just, I love, love the Caymans. It's always been my sort of dream car to kind of go for. But yeah, I really hope you kind of enjoyed that to kind of give you a little bit of an idea and hopefully it helps. And obviously this is without talking to a dealer, you know, you're not going to get discounts on from Porsche, you just don't. In fact, allocation is going to be hard enough. But I really hope it's given you guys some idea. So yes, there you go. That's the end of the video. That's, um, yeah, <laughs> a way you can obviously, the, the costs of basically buying a Cayman, a 718 GTS, you know, you don't normally just pay the 64,000, you pay all the other costs around it, unfortunately but you can spread it out over monthly, so it's not too bad. Um, you know, what would I do? Well, I'm not in a position where I can buy a Porsche. I love my Golf R, it's my daily, I, it's my one car. It kind of does everything I would ever need for it. But what I actually do, which might help you guys out as well, and why it's well worth you staying to the end of this video, <laughs> um, is because I go to Porsche Silverstone Experience Center. I've documented that on my channel before as well, if you check out my playlists and I give Porsche about £295 for a 90 minute session in one of their Caymans and that's with an instructor and you have a load of fun around a track, you don't have to worry about tyre wear, fuel, anything, you just, or like maintenance of the car, you know, you just enjoy it and you enjoy it around a track which is perfect for the Cayman, that um, Porsche Experience circuit track just alongside the, the full Silverstone circuit which to be honest is probably a little bit too big for a car that really is all about the handling um yeah and i love doing that i've done it plenty of times and it's been absolutely brilliant so that would be my recommendations you can't quite stretch for the sixty-four thousand pounds or um, the monthly payments yeah so either way you can still get the uh the joys of her of um driving a car like that and you can do it on a budget to be honest with you 295 pounds i take the hit on it and it's absolutely brilliant to have that experience so yeah, I really hope you've enjoyed this video and found it found it useful and entertaining. Thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe for plenty more content. Got loads of, um, it's sort of like a VAG channel really now. <laughs> um, plenty of Golf R content, Mark 8 Golf R, my Mark 7 Golf R. I do a bit of fast forward content. I also do Porsche content. So yeah, stay tuned for plenty of that to come and check out previous videos as well. But yeah, thanks so much for watching. Have a great rest of your day and I'll see you again next time. Cheers, guys.